hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you how to create an eye-catching youtube thumbnail using the InShot app just in case it's your first time here you're most welcome please do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit on the bell icon so you get notified each time i upload a new video and for my return subscribers you're welcome back Go ahead and open your InShot app. Click on photo. It will take you to your gallery where you select the picture you want to use. Click on canvas and select the accurate ratio depending on where you want to post it and click on check mark. The picture should be able to move to and through the screen. Just in case you don't know how to make your picture transparent, this is the picture how the way it was before, before I made it transparent. If you don't know how to do this, Go ahead and click on the link on top of the video to watch how to make your video transparent, how to remove the background. So to continue, I will drop it on one side. Slide to click on um, background to change the background to whichever color you want. In this case, I'll be using red. Then click on test to type in whatsoever you want to type in. In this case, we'll be typing create eye-catching YouTube thumbnail for free using InShot. So I'll start by typing in create eye-catching. Then I'll click on the multicolor, the circle you are seeing that has multicolor to change the color of the font to white. You can change it to whichever color you want. There are several colors here. You can drag it to any position you want. The next word I'll be typing is YouTube thumbnail. Now click on the multicolor again. Click on label to add background to the text. So you can change it to any color. I'll be changing it to white. Then type on the test option to change the color of the test to red and click on the check mark. You can increase the size, you can decrease it, you can place it wherever you want to place it. So I'll go ahead and click on the T to type in my next word which is for. And I'll click on the multicolor to change the remove the um, label and change the font color to white, just like that. That's just how you're going to do it until you are done typing whatever you are typing. I'll click here again to type in free. Click on the font to change the font to. There are several fonts here, about 16 of them. So you keep on checking until you get the one you want. I actually want this free to be uh, to be pronounced, like to be very visible in such a way that you will see it, one could see it at a glance. You know, we we'll all like freebies, you know. So if you notice the thumbnail, the way it is, it is obvious. It is like at a glance, you will see thumbnail, you will see free. That is how I want it to be in such a way that at a glance, you will know what the video is talking about so i'll keep on selecting until i get the one that i feel is okay mm. this is not okay okay Okay, let's see if we can work with this one. Click on the multicolor again to add label to it. Click on label and choose the color of label you want. I'll be using white. Now I'll click on test to change the color of test to red so that it will be made very visible. Mm -mm. I'll change the font to Roboto, which is the regular one I prefer using. Then, as you can see, it is glaring. At a glance, you could see youtube thumbnail and free which could make someone to click 
almost immediately if you want to learn how to create YouTube thumbnail. So just like that, go ahead and click on the T icon again to type in the next word which is using. So click on the multicolor, click on label and click on the first option to remove the background on the test. Click on test and change the color of your test to any color you desire. So I'll be using white in this case. You can increase and decrease and place it wherever you want. Go ahead and click on the T to type in the next word, which is in shirt. So I also want this in shirt to be seen at a glance because that's the app we are using. So you go ahead and change the background and the text color in such a way that it will be very glaring. So I'll click on the label to change the label shape to a different one and um, change it to white then the test to red but not the regular red I'll be using the in short kind of red because it's in short app we are talking about here and you place it wherever you want so next you position your picture however, however you want it if you want it bolder smaller Place it on any position you want then you click on sticker because i would want to add um in short icon go back to your gallery to select the downloaded um logo i'm using white because the background is red and in short is red so i can't use red on red so i choose the white logo then i'll reduce the size and place it where it will be seen almost immediately and <laughs> isn't this amazing your logo or your thumbnail i mean is ready so be sure to use catching colors use the accurate ratio then click on save to save your picture click tap on the picture to preview it if there is anything you don't like just go ahead and tap on the picture it will go back then you click on this arrow here to go back to the main page. In this case, I want to increase the size of the picture to be bolder. And you click on save. And your thumbnail is ready. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.